Well, now it's part two of a News Nation exclusive, an inside look at how U.S. troops are preparing for a potential conflict in the Pacific as the U.S. China relationship becomes increasingly strained. Today, we're hearing from the general who runs the military's only jungle school and how it plays an important role in addressing those threats in the South Pacific. Our crew has been embedded with Army troops going through this 12 day boot camp, seeing the conditions as they might encounter in the South China Sea region. Correspondent Nancy Liu has been following the troops, joins us live from Hawaii. So, Nancy, tell us about some of the drills they're conducting. Well, Nicole, in a matter of hours, we're expecting dozens of soldiers to emerge from deep in the jungle after their final challenge. There's going to be a huge celebration over this way under that archway. They're going to be doing what's called the Green Mile much harder than it sounds after a very grueling two weeks of training out there. It will be exhausting. But according to the commanding general of the 25th, tension in this region calls for readiness. The situation in the Indo-Pacific continues to inform our approach to readiness and to be more ready today than we were yesterday. And what you're observing out here at the Jungle Operations Training Course is that happening. Commanding General Marcus Evans pushing to jungle train as many of the 12,000 forces he oversees as quickly as possible. While this class is all Army, members of other military branches have also gone through, learning to survive in extreme conditions while also threatened by enemy air assaults or ambushes. While this is a mock takedown of an enemy soldier, there is a real possibility of a potential Pacific conflict. China claims sovereignty over much of the South China Sea, including the Spratly Islands near the Philippines, which the U.S. is under treaty to defend. In May, a Chinese fighter jet came dangerously close to a U.S. spy plane in international airspace over the South China Sea, and Chinese military activity has been fairly constant over and around Taiwan, as well as in the Philippines. U.S. soldiers will be jungle training there in just a few weeks. I feel like it's a good tool to have in your pocket, so I feel like um, a bunch of more people should come and train in the jungle, because you never know what happened in the world. Now, after the Biden Xi summit in California back in November, military to military communication between the U.S. and China resumed just recently, and that seems to have tamped down tension somewhat. Regardless, jungle training will continue here in Hawaii and throughout the region. Nicole. All right, Nancy, live for us there in Hawaii. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.